Hey, yo! What's up, everybody? What is pippity poppin'? Hope you're all doing good. CJO, what's up, dude? Hope you're having a good day. Merry Christmas Eve to everybody. And hopefully, Christmas Day will be just as good tomorrow. What the? Are you joking? Ah, uh, this game's so broken in terms of the tents just disappearing this update. What is this, man? Why does this happen to my tents every single time I play? Ay, 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 ay. Okay, dog, you're gonna have to move, man. Try to play stuff here. That's crazy, man. Wow, can... Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, that's not letting me place it like I used to be able to here. That's crazy. Crazy, bro. How's everybody doing, though? What's up, MJ? What's up, Parker? We got Edgemaster Mork. We got Salem. We got Phantom. We got Chiefs. We got Mr. Brown. We got uh, a million other people. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing fantastic. Got two of them. Yeah, only two did not get a good shot on that other one. Berta, thank you for upgrading your membership to Super Crow. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very, very kind of you. Hey, Stefan, how's it going? Yeah, I'm not a fan of, like, uh, the way they change, like, tent placement and stuff either. It's a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Adapt and overcome. We'll figure it out over time. Figure out what works and what doesn't. It's not going to hurt us in the long run. We'll just adapt to it. So we are now 1,305 kills into this grind right here. We're getting up there, man. We're getting really far up there. Yeah, CJ, there's a good chance it could. There's a good chance it could. It'll be uh, likely the 26th. Give me two seconds. Going to take my hoodie off. It's getting a little warm. Hope it spawns this stream or next stream. Me too, man. I hope so. We can hope that it does. Nothing there. Oh, well. Next zone we go. Hey, voter, how's it going? Yo, Cooper. So how is everybody's uh, Christmas Eve been going so far? I know it's still early in the day, but... Hopefully it's been going quite well. Nice. Love to see it, guys. Love to see it. Love to see it. Ah, oh, that guy's not going to give us a shot. He's not giving us a shot right now, but I think if we shoot the other one, maybe he will. Oh, wait. There we go. That's what we needed. He ducked his head a little bit, and that gave us the uh, the shooting lane we needed. Oh, it's going good, uh, Dylan. It's going good. 
Wait, did CJO actually hit 10k? Let's go, CJO. Let's go. Beautiful. Love to see it. CJO got that 10k before Christmas. Let's freaking go, CJO. So, second channel win, CJO? Second channel win? <laughs> Berta, thank you for the super chat. Once again, if you get the great one in the next 150 kills, I'll buy one month of Massacre. Oof. That's a, that's a, ooh, that's a, that's a pretty crazy bet there. We'll see. Can I get it in the next 150 kills? That would be, well, we're currently at 1308, so we'd have to get it by 1458. I'll keep track of it and we'll see if we can. We'll see if we can. Thank you for the super chat once again, though. Much appreciated. And Merle with the eight months. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back, man. Oh, you did the silver hair, dude. Oh my gosh, CJ. I cannot wait to see it. I bet it's going to be quite wild looking. What fallow combo am I going for now? Anything that's mocha or the typical rack. I don't really care. Like mocha typical rack would be my number one uh, combo that I don't have that I'd like to get. But really anything with either of those. If I can get a, a typical rack with any fur type, I'm happy. If I can get a, a mocha with any rack, I'll be happy. It does look nice. Nice, nice. Love to see you, man. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Main account Tiabaro or Red Deer Grind? It'll probably happen eventually, yeah. It would likely happen eventually, man. Nice four there. Yo, Tony with the five gifted. Coming through with that Christmas Eve gifting spirit. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you so much. Much appreciated, man. And congrats to uh, Grayson, Rock Chalk, Himothy, Jax, and Ian. You guys got gifted those memberships from Tony, so be sure to say, Hey, Piebald! Well, don't say, Hey, Piebald. Say thank you to Tony, but that's a Piebald. That's a Piebald. It's a level four, too. Uh, we're probably going to have to get him next run because he is zooming. He is zooming out of here. That's a good start to the day, though. That is quite a nice start. Yeah, it's Santa Tony. It's Santoni. Maybe I can get this? Ooh. Yeah, let's go. We did it. We got him. That was really lucky, actually. Like, uh... That was pretty lucky that he calmed down and was just trotting. Or walking, actually. Not even trotting, just walking. Like a normal deer. Yo, what's up, Nate? Nate, are you going to be able to play games tonight, or are you still gone? I'm assuming you're still gone at your parents' place, right? I'm going to assume you're still at your parents'. You'll be back later tomorrow night? Oh, perfect. You'll be home just in time for the, the Tarkov wipe. And maybe a little bit of time to play some arena before it wipes even. There he is. Our first rare of the day. A piebald. Level 4. He's looking really nice. 190.24. Love to see it. That's a pretty looking piebald, honestly. I like that a lot. It's a good looking fallow. Very solid fallow. Now, let's see if we can keep things up and uh, get some more rares. Hopefully. No, I have not got the typical rack whitetail yet. You'd think after 32 we'd have it, but nope. Ooh, that's a five. That's a, that's a deer of some kind. <laughs> that guy, that's a five. A chocolate five, in fact. That is a chocolate five. Some nice uh, Christmas chocolates.
Did I get it? I don't think I got him good. Oh, that got him. Ah, three is good enough. I'm not going to worry too much about getting that fourth. That should be pretty much a guaranteed diamond. As that rack, the chances of it trolling are so low. Where did he go? There he is. How many zones should you have to grind whitetail? Uh, typically... Well, that's big. That's actually really big. Typically on Layton, you're going to have between 60 and 75. I see most people getting like 65-ish. And then there's a lot of uh, other people that hunt Revon Tuli, and I believe Revon Tuli is very similar numbers, like, you know, 60, 65 zones. There we go. When will I grind moose again? I'm not 100% sure because I grind both moose and whitetail on the same map, so I have to take down one setup to set up for the other species, and... We've kind of been going for Whitetail recently to get the uh, the typical rack. And we still haven't got the typical rack, so... I don't know when we'll go back to Moose. I definitely want to at some point, because I do like Moose hunting. And I do think that... Well, I don't necessarily like the Moose hunting, but I like the Moose great one enough that I power through it, you know? Are your uh, Whitetail being weird, Nate? Are they still being a little bit odd? Yo, what's up, Go-Kart? How you doing, man? I don't know, Brandon. I don't really know what the next one's gonna be. I there's a few options that I that I talk about quite often that I think it could be. Um, Asia, another Africa map, or Texas. I feel like those are the most likely. Oh no worries, Archie. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing super good. One thousand three hundred and eighteen kills, man. Yeah, Florida could be interesting. Definitely could be. Especially if we could get like iguana hunting. That'd be awesome. If you are unfamiliar with that, yes, they do hunt iguanas in Florida. They do uh, iguana hunting with air rifles and blow darts and stuff like that because uh, they're an invasive species there. Pet iguanas got out, and the next thing you know, the entire state's flooded with them. <laughs> or at least, uh, like the canals and stuff. Pretty crazy, man. Tony! With the super sticker! Holy crap! The $10 super sticker. Appreciate it, Tony. Absolutely insane, man. Thank you so much, dude. We need, need to have tree dwelling prey. Yeah, that could be cool. That could definitely be awesome. Hopefully we'll get this one of the days. One of these, gosh, that's not even a sentence. Hopefully we'll get that one of these days. There we go. <laughs> How many rares do I have? Like for fallow deer or overall of like every animal? Uh, if we're just talking fallow deer, I've killed 41 of them on our Great One Fallow Grinds. How many zones do you need for red deer on Tiabaroa? I never really counted them, I'll be honest. I'd have to go back to the, uh, the Great One Before Level 60 Challenge account and see how many I've got on there. Nice, Brandon. How long am I streaming? Going to church and then I'll come watch? Um, I'll be streaming for like two to three hours most likely. We've been going for 17 minutes now, so quite a bit left. 
How long does HM take? It depends on how lucky you get, to be honest, and also how, like, experienced you are in doing herd management. Uh, it's not usually a fast process, though. Most of the time, to get, like, decent HM, you're going to spend, like, 100 hours grinding, and that's if you're grinding at the speed that I'm grinding. You have to take into account all the different, like, variables, like, how many times have you done HM before, like, how much you know about doing HM, um, how lucky you get with respawns coming back as those low levels, like, there's so many factors that it's really tough to tell you how long it takes. Like, I can tell you how long it took for me, but, like, I've been doing this for a while, so it's going to be different depending on, like, how, how well you know how to HM and how lucky you get. Uh, usually I would say if you're new to HM, it could take you a few thousand kills to get things managed down just because of like inexperience with it. Because my first like big HM grind was Diablo or Red Deer. And I cultivated my Red Deer herds over the course of months. Like a few months I spent managing it down to a, an extreme state where I was getting a diamond every 10 kills. And it, it definitely took me like a, a couple thousand to get it to a point where I was getting a diamond every like 20 kills. Like depending on the experience level you have, it can take a very long time or it can take, you know, like 100, 150 hours like it does for me for a lot of these. Oh, he's turning. Always with the turns, man. Got three of them though. Oh, four of them. Ouch. Ooh, that poor dude. Great one today, you're calling it? Maybe. Maybe. We are quite far into this grind, so it definitely could happen. We're at 1,328 kills, so... Hopefully we'll get it soon, man. Hopefully we'll get it soon. Are brown bears the easiest to get rares? Definitely not, no. I I don't even know what I would consider the easiest to get rares of. Boom. There we go. 98 total diamonds on this grind right here. Maybe spot and fish. I'm not 100% sure if I will. Depends on how busy I am tomorrow. Oh, definitely, Nate. Definitely. Running fellow right now. 915 kills in. Hoping for a great one on winter break. Hopefully, dude. You know, a lot of my great one fallow deer pop before 2000. So I got faith that you'll get one before 2K. Oh, jeez, Brandon, that's wild. Yeah, that definitely is a good and bad news situation. It's like, that's pretty good, but it's also pretty rough. Oh, hey. Hey, big guy. Oh, it's 13. We need to uh, change the time. Nice, Sam. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, no! That was a level four diamond. That was a level four diamond. I just assumed it was the 238 scoring rack. Ugh, R.I.P., man. R.I. frickin' P. That sucks. Oh well. Oh well, man. That's kind of annoying, but it is what it is.
Any great ones yet? Nothing today. Nothing today. Hopefully soon, though. Hopefully soon we'll get it. Okay, there's our two that we need to shoot. These two over here. Thirteen thirty-two on the grind. How do you shoot down zones? Just keep shooting them until they turn to low levels. Really all there is to it. He's floating, man. He's floating. Berta, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. Or super sticker, actually. Much appreciated, though. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a grand old time watching the stream. I'm going to say 957, Brayden. That's my prediction. 957. Hey, Raptor, Merry Christmas to you, too, as well. Merry Christmas to you as well, man. Got one mail there. What is everybody doing for Christmas tomorrow? Guys, got anything uh, fun planned? Oh, it's going good, Raptor. Raptor, it's going good. Oh, if you Christmas was today. Yeah, I forgot time zones are a wild thing. Ain't nothing here. Nice, Brayden. That's always fun, man. It's always a good time. Oh, she's doing good, Stefan. Just downstairs with our daughter playing with uh, some of her Christmas presents and stuff. Because we went over to my uh, to my family's place yesterday. We went over to visit my mom and siblings. And uh, so Aaliyah got to open some of her Christmas presents. And so she's been playing with those. Thank you, that hunter. Appreciate it, man. Same to you, dude. Ooh, nice claps. That's the best. That's the best, man. Can't uh, can't go wrong with Christmas food, man. Christmas food is just too fire. Oh, you stupid fallow deer. Just die from my bullets already. That's just not cool, man. You can't be surviving like that. Just not... Oh, and he's floating. Oh, this is going great. Oh, this is going great. What's my favorite great one? My favorite great one is the moose. The moose is just so beautiful. It's hard to go wrong with the moose, you know? Just always a winner. Hey, what's up, Case? Hope you're doing good. If your Christmas food was CJ's hot dog, I, I don't want to know. What that would be like. No, 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 no. You're lucky CJO already went to bed. <laughs> he gave me a really long time. That was a nice, uh, nice little gesture of that fallow deer to give me some extra time to shoot him. I don't know why he did it, but <laughs> hey, I'm not going to complain. Ooh, that's big. That's a good looking five. It's a chocolate. <laughs> that's a lot of shots for one deer. But hey, it got the job done. Oh, believe it, or, believe it or not, Stefan, my daughter's actually super into monster trucks, so I got her a bunch of, like, toy monster trucks. And it's honestly perfect, because, you know, as a dad, I'm going to be playing 
Uh, a lot of the time I'm going to be playing t with uh, all the toys that I get my daughter, right? Because she's going to want me to play with her. And so I'm happy that she's into monster trucks because that means I get to have fun too. There we go. Diamond 100 of the grind. <laughs> oh, man. Exactly, Cooper. It's like, when you're a dad, you're going to play with your daughter's toys as well. Because she's going to bring them over to you and be like, Dad, can you play with me? Can we go play? And so, I'm happy that she is into something that I was into when I was a kid. Just makes it a lot more fun. Yeah, she's been super into monster trucks. She's got a, a nice little collection of them now. And I built her like jumps out of uh, like cardboard boxes, like cut them into the shapes of jumps and stuff. And she's just been having so much fun with it. Like, I don't think I ever have seen her play with a toy longer than that. The first monster truck that I got her, she played with it for like seven hours the first day. It was insane. I was like, oh my gosh. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you like it. <laughs> I've never seen her play with any other toy for that long. It was kind of crazy. Hey, Johannes, how's it going? Almost the 25th here, just coming in to wish you a good luck grinding. And to tell y'all, I'll be watching from the phone without chat. Oh, no worries, man. Hope you have a good Christmas. Hope you have a fun time today. Today, tomorrow, whenever it is, whenever it is for you. Setting up my first Red Deer Grind on Tiabaroa. It's going great. Been managing it down for like 10 hours and it's almost finished. Nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. The question is... You said you managed it down in the last 10 hours? How often are you getting diamonds? Because sometimes I've had situations where I thought the map was managed down. And then it ended up not being as managed down. Because 10 hours, that's really fast. I would not think you'd be fully managed down in 10 hours. So I, I would check your diamond rate after you get done. Just to make sure you're getting a diamond every like 10 to 20 kills. If you're getting a diamond every 10 to 20 kills once you've managed things down, then you're definitely far enough. Yo, what's up, Ender? Hope you're doing good. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Lucas. And we got Caitlyn. What's up? <laughs> do me a favor and throw a reindeer at that like button, y'all. Yep, if you guys haven't hit the like button, be sure to do so. It takes two seconds. It's completely free and it helps the channel grow. Thank you all so much for being here, by the way. Oh, yeah, it looks incredible, Patty. It's one of my favorite skins they've ever released. I mean, both of these. It just looks so good. Like, oh my gosh. Got the diamond looking AR going. Woo! Oh my gosh, the Christmas skins are incredible. Thank you, EW, for free skin packs. We love to see it. I do really like that all the free ones have been better than the paid ones. Like, that is really cool. They've done a lot of paid ones, right? But all of the free ones are the better looking ones. Which is really nice. Makes it so even if you don't want to spend any money on cosmetics, as long as you're playing the game you'll be able to get yourself some of the best looking ones that they've ever released. You'll love to see it. Yeah, it's a lot of herd management, Gavin. A lot of herd management to get all those diamonds. I'd say without HM, if I was never doing HM, I'd probably only be at like a thousand by now. Like, I still have a lot of them, just not as much as I do with herd management. How many great ones? 62 of them. Um, around like 110 to 130, uh, Effin. Around 110 to 130. There's a lot of moose zones on Layton. It's kind of ridiculous how many there is. Oh, no worries, Cooper. I hope you have a good day. How many zones? Okay, you, I already responded to that. Already read that one off. 
There's our buck. Good old level three. Real giant over there. You have 35 zones for Tiabaro. Is that enough? It very well could be. I've got 37, I believe. So it definitely would not be, like, unrealistic for you to have 35. I would just check every once in a while to see if you find any others. Ooh, nice, Lucas. That's awesome, man. That's a pretty, uh... Pretty cool, great one to get. I mean, to be honest, all the great one fallow look amazing. You only had 32 zones on Tiabaroa? Yeah, it can vary a good bit from person to person. I typically see anywhere from like 35 to like 47-ish. Now, these ones just don't want to show up. Unfortunate. Uh, no, Dion, you didn't miss too much aside from one piebald. But yeah, you haven't missed too much. Just one piebald today. I mean, we got a couple diamonds, but an HM grind, you're going to get diamonds. A lot more consistently than if you weren't doing it. Yo, what's up, Logan? Hope you're doing good, man. Yo, Yokai, how's it going, man? Thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. That's very generous of you. Very, very generous of you, man. There we go. Thank you once again, dude. That's a very generous super chat there. Very, very generous. What is it? Christmas or something? You guys are incredible. I already responded to you, Shaw. I already responded to you on how many moose zones in Layton. I'm not going to repeat myself. Uh, if you need to hear it, you can go back in the stream like five to ten minutes and you'll hear it. To do a diamond elk grind. That could be quite interesting. It, it depends on which elk. Are you talking about... The Roosevelt's or the Rocky Mountain Elk? What well, great one took me the longest? My first great one bear. Took so long. Rocky Mountain Elk? Um... I've actually already got a diamond elk grind set up because I was heard managing them a while back. I would just have to set everything up again. Um, it's unlikely that I'll set everything up though because I'm set up for the great one bear grind on Silver Ridge. I could maybe... I could maybe do like a couple hunts, like a, like a couple videos on Rocky Elk hunting. I don't think I'll set up a full grind, but I could do a couple videos around it. Potentially. Not 100% sure, Berta. I'll probably do a little bit of a stream tomorrow. I don't know what time, though. And uh, if I don't do... If I don't do a main channel stream tomorrow, I'll probably do a second channel one. I'm not 100%. Speaking of second channel, I'll be streaming on the second channel later today if you guys are wanting some extra Scarecrow content. This stream right here is probably going to go for another two hours or so. And then, like, shortly after I end the stream here on the main channel, I'll be going live on the second channel, playing some other games like Fortnite, potentially. I might do some Marauders, might do some Tarkov Arena. Not 100% sure what I'll be playing on there today, but if you guys want extra Scarecrow content, the second channel is the place to be. Think of it as, like, bonus content. You'll still be getting all this main channel stuff, but uh, I do a lot on the second channel as well. For those of you that enjoy, like, other games as well. And I'm probably going to post a little bit of Call of the Wild on there, too. Because I've got, like, a couple clips that are, like, 
pretty funny, but not necessarily appropriate for the main channel. So I'll probably be doing some stuff like that on the second channel too. What in my opinion is the rarest animal in the game? The rarest animal in the game would be the fabled piebald. Well, not the fabled piebald, but any ultra rare great one really. Doesn't really matter what fur type it's got, any of them. Nobody has killed a melanistic great one whitetail. So that would probably probably be the um uh, probably be the uh rarest thing in the game. Johnny, what are you even talking about, bro? This is the first time I've seen your name in chat the entire day. That is the first message I've seen from you all day. <laughs> Killed like 40 level 4 Rocky Elk, still haven't got a diamond. That's unfortunate, man. That's very unlucky. The 5? There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Kaylin. <laughs> Silas, I already told you, you don't have to ask me if I remember you every single stream. I'm not going to forget you after one day, but if you keep changing your, like, screen name, then of course I'm not going to know who you are. That would just be silly to change your name and assume that I'd know that you're the same person as before. Of course I'm not going to remember a name that's completely different than the one that I'm used to seeing in chat. Who got a great one, Albino? Uh, somebody named LC got one during the release of Rancho Del Arroyo, like shortly after the release of that map. Yeah, I'm going to just tell you guys right now with like a blanket statement to like all the questions of this. If you've been in my chat within the recent like two weeks or so, or if you haven't been in the chat for a while, but you've been in there a lot during the time that you are in, like if you're a regular or if you've been in the chat recently, there's a good chance I remember your name. So you don't need to ask me every single stream if I remember you. There's a high chance I do. Obviously, I'm going to recognize the more active names a little bit faster. Because the more I see something, the easier it's going to be to remember, you know? But I have a relatively good memory in terms of seeing, like, names in chat. What you doing? Didn't I kill one over here already? I, I guess I missed my shot. Or did I just not even shoot him? I might not have shot him. Who knows? You barely remember your name? Hey, me too, man. Too sometimes. Nice, Dion. That's very lucky, man. Very, very lucky. What's my real name? Uh, Brewster. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I mixed it up on your raid. You expected me to say Flinter, but I said Rooster this time. <laughs> oh, man. I figure that me and Rooster get confused for each other more than me and Flinter do nowadays, so... I'm gonna start saying rooster instead. What is the easiest great one? 
you'll probably get different answers like between everybody that you ask that question because a lot of times like what is easiest is skewed by like personal experience but I personally think that the fallow is the easiest one to get I don't know which one of these is the new one I think this is the new one because I think that guy is the solo I could be wrong though Let's do a couple resets just to see if he pops up alone. He probably won't this run. We'll have to get him next run. 1,360 kills. Oh, definitely raid. Definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, quite a good multitasker, you know. Nice, Weston. Hey, American Elk, how's it going? You both are birds? True, true. We are both birds. That is correct. Not really. No, no, because I'm a scarecrow. I scare the crows. And then Rooster, he's, he's, just a, he's just a rooster. He's a rooster. So he's a bird, but I scare birds. Come on, man. Let me. Just let me get over here. Let me fast travel without getting pinned in the corner. Pause. Ooh, nice, Ivar. That's awesome. That's really rare to get a couple of them back to back like that. That's pretty crazy. Nothing crazy there. Metal Man, what's up, dude? My voice is gone. I can only speak money. Oh, no, dude. Thank you for the super chat, Metal Man. R.I.P. Metal Man's voice. Don't worry. We'll, uh... We'll be, uh... We'll be making sure to, to drop all the L's for your voice. Drop... All right, everybody. L for Metal Man's voice, but a W for Metal Man. Because Metal Man's great. Poor Metal Man. <laughs> yeah, LWs. We need both of them. RIP the, vo the voice, but welcome, Metal Man. What do you think of this is the best map for grinding Whitetail? Also, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Hope you get a great one. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you as well. And I would say personally, I think Leighton Lakes is the best map for Whitetail, but I know a lot of people like Rev on Tuli more. I just think that if you're doing herd management, uh, it's just faster to do it on Leighton because they're in a smaller part of the map. However, if you're not doing HM, like you're going to have probably better time doing it on... Rev on Thule. And I mean, a lot of people love HMing Rev on Thule as well. So, uh, again, this is like a personal preference thing. I really like Leighton. I'm a massive fan of Leighton Lakes. I've always found it just like really easy to hunt Whitetail there. What's my rarest great one? Probably the 50 50 rack. <laughs> Um, either the 50-50 rack whitetail that's half typical, half squished Kinsko rack, or it's the fabled oak 50-50 rack moose because that's just not a common thing to get in general. Ew, that's rough, Metal Man. RIP, dude. But hopefully you get better soon. Do I ever plan on doing a Yukon moose grind? Never. Never. <laughs> I, I could not bring myself to do that. I've set up on Layton and it's doing well, so I'm just going to keep it on Layton. 
Setting up a moose grind is my least favorite great one grind to set up. Oh, yes, it's, oh my gosh. Aside from bears, maybe. But even bears, like now that I understand them better, I think it'd be easier to set up than moose. Moose, it's just they, they do everything they can to confuse you. Because of the fact there's so many solos, there's also duo zones, so you may think you're going to get a respawn, but because there's only two in there, you shoot one, doesn't get a respawn, you just have a solo doe situation. It's just like, moose are a pain. So I don't think I'll ever do a, a Yukon grind. It was brutal enough to get set up on Layton. Nate, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Have a Merry Christmas. Crow, here's my gift uh, to you for being the best. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. And Merry Christmas to you as well. And Weston, thank you for the super chat also. Yo, Scarecrow. Bro. What's up, dude? I hope you're having a great day. That's a diamond. Boom. Let's freaking go. ETR, what's up, dude? Only bad thing is finding zones. See, that's the thing for me. I don't want to have to find zones again on Yukon. Like, oh man. Because like it took long enough to get everything set up on like the other moose maps that I've tried. And I just don't have fun setting up a moose grind. Moose are one of those species where I really love the great one. Like, it is the prettiest great one in the game, in my personal opinion. But it's one of the most annoying ones to get set up for. Do it, American Elk. Do it. Is Oak a rare fur type, or is that only for the great one? It's only for the great one. So the Great One Moose has six different fur variations. Fabled Oak, Fabled Spruce, Fabled Ashen, Fabled Two-Tone, Fabled Speckled, and Fabled Birch. All of them seem to have like an equal chance of spawning whenever you get a Great One to spawn. But they can only spawn on the Great One. And man, they look pretty. They are gorgeous, man. Metal Man with another Super Chat. Happy, happy Christmas and a Merry New Year, Scared Crow. Thank you so much, Metal Man, once again. Same to you, buddy. Same to you. Okay, that is definitely our solo over there. Yeah, it's definitely our solo. So, we need to shoot this 89. We got him. Let's go. Oh my gosh, dude. All these super chats. Jenna, thank you for the super chat as well. Hope you have an amazing Christmas Eve. Thank you so much. Same to you, Jenna. Hope you have a fantastic Christmas Eve. And Andrew, thank you for the super chat as well. How do I become a member? Where do I go? So there should be a join button next to the sub button. If there isn't, you can use the link in the description or the link that one of the moderators slash members can drop into the uh, chat. And yeah, that should allow you to become a member. He'll count 1,371. Oh, yes, it's, oh my gosh. I love your vids. I'm going to like to get a diamond in the next 10 minutes. Oh, there's a pretty high chance we will, NBA. Our, uh, our battle grind is going very well. It's going very well. Okay, if the join button isn't there, then you have to go through the link. Uh, could one of the members... Drop the uh, the membership link in there. Or one of the moderators. I don't see any moderators at the moment, though, so I'm assuming members will have to probably do it. Unless they're just lurking. They might just be lurking in the shadows. Oh! Thank you for being cooperative, Mr. Deer. Oh, yes, it's, oh my gosh. Yeah, there it is. That link in chat right there, Andrew, should be the... Uh, it should take you straight to the join. Was my favorite kill my mellow white tail deer? No, I would say my favorite kill of all time is my diamond albino red deer off of Emerald Coast. 
It was the only max rate, max, max rate, max uh, weight super rare. <laughs> I can't speak. Max weight super rare. Yeah, that thing was crazy. That thing was ridiculous. Ooh, nice Cecil. That's awesome. Yeah, that would probably be a pretty nice looking combo for sure. Speaking of combos, I think it's time we switch things up a little bit. I think it's time that we switch things up just a little bit. We're going to ditch the 308 for a little bit. And go for something else. Just because I feel like it, you know? Just because I feel like it. Get the old 303 out. Been a while since I've used the 303, and it's really good. Have I ever got a great one without herd management? Yes, I have 13 without herd management, and then the rest are herd management. But I do have 13 of them without it. Which is why it's it's honestly kind of hilarious when some people try to, like, uh, say that I can only get them with herd management. When I've got 13 without it. Which is still, like, a lot of great ones. Oh, that looks so good! Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Let's see it, guys. You ready? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. That's the one. That's the one right there, man. That's the one. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Now we got to change our uh, 300 a little bit up. Change it up a little bit. I like that. Okay, that's great. Yep, we're doing that. Okay, beautiful. Where's the 303 bullets? There we go. Save that for now so that we don't have to like... So we can still swap other loadouts if we need to. Oh. Yes. Yes, please. Yo, what's up, Archie? Are those still available? They should be, yes. I think they're available till the 1st. I might be wrong on that date, but I know they're still available. In order to get those skins, make sure that you're logged into a full Apex Connect account. And have the Hunt Club beta enabled, and then you'll be able to get the uh, skins. They should just automatically go into your inventory if you've got a full Apex Connect account connected through the settings, and then have Hunt Club Beta enabled, you should get them. Yeah, Chiefs, of course I remember you. Of course. Like I've said to everybody before today, or before in the stream today, if you're a regular, or have been showing up a good bit recently, there's a very low chance that I would forget your name. Man, I forgot how much fun the 303 is. It's a good gun. Really good gun. And man, those Christmas skins look good on the 303. Holy. That's clean, man. That is clean. I think we're going to change it up a little bit, though. It looks too similar to what our 300 just looked like. So I think we'll go to one of the other ones. How do I link Apex? Go to your settings. On the main menu, make sure it's on the main menu, not while you're in-game. Go to the main menu. Go to the settings. Click on Avalanche Apex Connect or whatever it says. It says something similar to that. And then, just log into your Apex Connect account and then turn on Hunt Club Beta. And you're good to go. Nice, Case. That is awesome, man. Do I have a Discord? I do have a Discord. Yes, I do have a Discord. Discord. 
On my third great one fallow grind, I now have 10 piebald, 1 mel melanistic, and 1500 kills. 8 of the piebalds have been in the last 200 kills. That's insane, dude. Holy crap, that's such a crazy streak right there. That's a wild good luck streak. Jeez. Yeah, there's so many rares in a short time. There we go. Two more down. Thoughts on the 270? I've been really enjoying using it lately. I think it's a really good gun, like, uh, for one of the base game guns, and especially for early game. And, like, even late game, it's still gonna do fine on something like a Whitetail or a Fallow Deer. Um, I don't really use it just because a lot of the DLC guns I like more. But I do think it's one of the best base game options for stuff like Whitetail. Ma'am, don't stop in front of him. Thank you. Nice. What do we got here? Aw, oh, that little guy. He's adorable. Oh. Oh, dude, that was almost a diamond. Man. So this before, you need a soundboard to answer questions of, like, favorite great one, favorite super rare, best gun, and other normal questions you get constantly. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. I, I would just need to, like, change around my stream deck a little bit. Because, like, I've got most of the things filled out on my stream deck already. I've got... The ability to change through all the different scenes so I can go to my live screen, snack break screen, intro. And then I've got it set up like that for my second channel as well. So that's six of the buttons already took up. Um, I've got one. Oh man, actually there's probably a couple that I could replace on here, but a lot of them are filled up. I probably could. I, I probably could change it around a little bit so we have those there. I wouldn't be able to do all of them, though. Hey, maybe I could just do one thing, right? Maybe just one, one audio cue, like one button press, and it's like, favorite gun is this, favorite animal is this, favorite great one is this, favorite rare is this, favorite map is this. And it just, like, runs through all of them super quick like that. That would actually be great. That'd be great. Do I hunt in real life? I hunted in real life clear up till I was like 18. I haven't really had the time to do it recently though. Essentially like I hunted till I was 18, right? And then once I became 18, didn't have as much like expendable funds, right? Didn't have like the extra money to go hunting. And now that, like, I do have the extra money to go hunting, I don't have the time to go hunting because I'm working on my channel all the time. And with YouTube, it's important to stay consistent if you want to, like, you know, keep your steady source of income. Because I do this full time, as a lot of you know, and taking, like, a week to get off, go hunting, uh, spend time, like, scouting places and preparing for it, like, it would take a lot of time away from making content, and you guys are absolutely amazing and do so much to support me and to make it possible for me to do YouTube. And, like, I, I don't want to leave you guys without content for, like, an entire week, you know? There's a five. And, like, you know, having a two-year-old as well, and it's just, uh, there's just a whole thing whole lot of stuff that would go along with it. The only way I could really make it work is if I prepared videos on the channel for like, like I prepared seven videos in advance or something like that, just so I wouldn't miss a week. But it is what it is. I'm content with just doing this. One of those things where like, sure, I'd like to go out and do some IRL hunting. It'd be nice to fill up the freezer and stuff, but 
at least for now, I'm fine with not necessarily being able to as much as I'd like. I still get to go fishing every once in a while, and fishing takes a lot less planning, so I just do a lot of fishing nowadays whenever I want to, like, get outside and do, like, some kind of outdoor activity. And I would like to eventually do some fishing videos and stuff, too. Because I enjoy fishing a bit more IRL. It's funny, like, IRL I love fishing more, but with games I like hunting more because it's more interactive. You go outside? I know, right? Believe it or not, Scarecrow hath touched the grass as, uh, as recent as yesterday. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty five. I think that's the dark fur type. Got him! I messed up that first shot, so I'm really glad I got a follow-up. What do you mean, k Dog? I I don't know what you mean by that sentence. Two sixty-two. That's a good one. That's a real good one. What was my first great one? My first ever great one was a cluster rack whitetail off of Rancho Del Arroyo. Like within a week after Rancho getting released. Oh, really, Thomas? <laughs> I haven't seen his new hair yet. I'm, I'm curious what it looks like. He was saying that this is the first time he's ever dyed his hair in his entire life. So I, I'm really curious how it looks on him. I feel like silver would look pretty good on CJO, though. I do feel like uh, he'd be able to rock some silver. Why don't I hunt IRL for videos sometimes? Uh, it's too risky with YouTube's policies. There's a lot of YouTube channels that get shut down and demonetized because they showed like IRL hunting footage. I mean, you guys know of some of those examples. What's his face? Um, I'm pretty sure it was Flair had his hunting channel taken down. I think Kendall Gray had his channel, his hunting channel get smoked as well. Like you gotta be so careful with showing that stuff on YouTube. I'd probably make an entirely new channel if I ever did IRL hunting stuff. That way I'm not risking my main channel. Same reason I made a second channel for like other games. Cause like with other games, you know, I'm not as family friendly as I am with the hunter and I don't want that to affect my hunter content. Because you know, you do one type of, you do two, to, two or three different types of content on a channel. If YouTube deems one of them being like against their policies, then it affects everything. Well, it's not as simple as that, Thomas. It's more of like if you're showing like the blood and like, like if you show yourself like gutting a deer or something, or if uh, just like the kill shot has a lot of blood spurred out or something like that, then you can get uh, age restricted for showing that content. And like, uh, I think the problem and the reason that a lot of the hunting channels got hit pretty hard with it is because, you know, they had a lot of videos that showed that stuff. If you do it once, you're probably fine. You probably won't like have any major things happen aside from that particular video being age restricted. But like if you have an entire channel dedicated to IRL hunting, right? And you don't like uh, edit out any of the blood and stuff like that, then uh, those are the types of channels that were getting flagged and taken down. Like, you know, Flair and KG's channels where they're, where they had posted tons of videos on it. Like Flinter, he, he doesn't show a lot of that like the type of stuff that would be against their terms. So like Flinter posting a, a hunting video here and there doesn't really affect him out, or, or not out, doesn't affect him too bad. Like if I were to do it, that's probably how I'd have to do it. I'd probably probably have to like just blur out the blood and stuff. It's unfortunate they're so strict on it. It's like, I don't get it. 
I don't understand it. I'm just happy they don't get super restrictive with like blood in video games and stuff, right? The day that YouTube starts getting restrictive with like blood in video games, that's when we're going to have a major problem because that would be taking it way too far. Oh, there's a lot of things that go into it, Coop. I mean, have you been actively targeting just the species that give great ones? Are you kind of just casually hunting and, you know, just hoping you find a great one? Like, you know, how are you going about it? How many kills have you had on the species that can give great ones? There's a lot of things that go into it. Essentially, like, the way Great Ones are set up, if you're just casually playing a little bit here and there, you're probably never going to see them. Um, and in many cases, it takes thousands of kills on the males of one species in order to get a Great One. And then there's also the random RNG factor where some people just get really unlucky. I mean, my first bear grind was 8,300 kills, and then... You know, I know people that got a bear in under 500 kills, so. So many factors that go into it. You have 700 whitetail kills so far. Okay, that's that's probably why. If you're only 700 kills in, I, I wouldn't, like, expect you to necessarily have a great one yet. My first few whitetail grinds took a long time. I didn't start getting short grinds until I had my mat, like, super heavily managed. I mean, I had a few, like, uh, shorter whitetail grinds without HM, but not as many of them. I mean, my first whitetail great one took, like, 2,700 kills. So, yeah, you're still very early into it. I wouldn't worry too much about the fact that you haven't got a great one yet. Now, if you reach, like, 15,000 kills without a great one, that's where I would get really concerned. But you're only 700 kills in. You definitely have plenty of time to get a great one, you know? I wouldn't worry too much yet. Yo, TTK, how's it going, man? Hope you're having a good day. Ooh, nice, David. That's awesome. That's a giant, too. 291? <laughs> oh, man. That's a crazy super rare, man. Can I do an entire stream on hunting uh, ducks to fix my aim? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. The one thing that gets me bored pretty quickly in the hunter is duck hunting. Like, if I haven't done it in months, then I don't have any problem sitting through, like, a couple hours of duck hunting. But if I do it, like, a, a couple days later again, then it, I get bored really quick. Like, I can go through a ton of just hunting random maps for random species, but waterfowl just is not my thing. You probably noticed, uh, a lot of you probably noticed that when the Retrievers came out and I did not really do too much with them at all. It just wasn't really for me. Speaking of stuff that we don't normally do, how have you guys been enjoying the uh, videos searching the fresh maps on my Great One Before Level 60 account? Because that's been a lot of fun going to some of those maps and just messing around with like, uh... Robra and Nate and them and chasing around trophies. Tomorrow, we got a banger for that series as well. Tomorrow's the day we show my perspective of Nate getting a super rare on my second account's Silver Ridge Peaks. Man, I still can't believe that happened. I mean, it was my second account, so it's not like I would have got to keep it in my lodge anyway. Or at least not my main lodge, but I still can't believe he did that. I can't believe he got that lucky. Not sure, Samuel. I mean, if you're changing maps, it's uh, it's specific to every map. Like the track color, it saves per map. So if you have it set to one thing on one map, if you change maps, it's going to reset to the default until you change it. And then when you go back to the other map, you'll still have the same color that you were using last time, you know?
Oh, he got a dilute muley, uh, Happy Fox. I was just, <laughs> I was so blown away. But I was so happy for him at the same time. It was his first ever super rare. So what a crazy way to get your first super rare. Like, I can't even be mad about it. And the way that I do things with multiplayer is I'm never going to try and take a trophy from somebody if I didn't find it. So he found it first. That trophy was rightfully his. And I'd rather that it goes to his lodge than just sit in my challenge accounts lodge where I'll never look at it, you know? Because, like, I only use that account for series like the great one before level 60. So I'd rather that it just be sitting in his lodge anyway. Just wild. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a crazy video tomorrow. Another diamond fallow. Let's go. Because that's just too much of a hassle, Merle, and it doesn't feel right. Like to me, it would not feel right to open up the multiplayer session on my second account, right? And then like join with my main account. It just feels wrong to me. It just feels wrong. That just doesn't feel right, you know? Hey, Rad Brad, how's it going? I did a face reveal years ago, Case. And I've done face cam stuff off and on since then as well. Just not for me, so I don't do it that often. It's got a level 5 mule deer. Let's go, Ian. That's awesome, man. You know, honestly, after Nate got that muley off my map, I kind of want to go back and see if there's any other good mule deer. Because we kind of stopped hunting for them after he got that. So that Silver Ridge Peak still has a lot of unsearched areas. Boom. Boom, shakalaka. Oh, there we go. That boy's floating. We can't allow that. No floating allowed, man. I have no clue what you're talking about, Lake. That's unfortunate, Ian. Two eighteen. Can you give me tips for a great one grinding? I've killed fifteen hundred bucks and still no great one. Really, all you can do is just keep shooting, man. Keep shooting. If you're not doing herd management, maybe try doing it a little bit. Unless you really don't want to, then of course you don't have to. I mean, I've had a lot of uh, grinds above 1,500 kills, so it's very possible you just need to keep shooting them. Alexi, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Happy Christmas from Finland. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you as well. It's crazy that it's that time of year again. Crazy that it's already Christmas again. It feels like it just happened last year. You do herd management? Okay, how many... Like, how often are you getting a diamond? What's the, the average kill count to get a diamond on your grind? Because I've found that the sweet spot where I start getting shorter grinds... Seems to be if I'm getting a diamond every 10 to 20 kills. If I can get a diamond every 10 to 20 kills, I've noticed that... Like, when HM is that far along, that's when I get a lot of shorter grinds. Every 60 bucks. Okay, you definitely need to manage things down a little bit more. Every 60 bucks means you're probably only like half managed. I would try to manage it down a little bit more. Uh, not only would it like help your HM, but it's going to give you more things to keep you busy along the grind. So you get bored uh, like slower. Like you hopefully won't get as bored just shooting fallow deer if you're working towards like managing your map a little bit more. At least that's the way it works for me. If I've got something to do. 
uh, like along along the grind, it, it keeps me more interested. So that might be something to think about doing. Maybe try to further your herd management a little bit more. Um, maybe see if there's some new zones that you've been missing or something like that. Either way, I hope you get your great ones soon. We are now approaching 1,400 kills, guys. We're at 1,395. Jeez. Oh, nasty little shot. How many fallow zones do I have? I have 37 of them. But I know that some people have clear up to like 47 or 48 or something like that, you know? You should add a kill count top of screen. I'll consider it, but I, I kind of like the balance of everything on my overlay right now. Like everything's pretty matched and even on each side. And if I add kill count as well, it's going to offset it a bit and make it look a little bit uneven. Unless I put it like dead center, maybe. Maybe I could put it right in the middle. We'll see. I've been thinking about switching up my overlay anyway, so I might consider like moving stuff around. Looks like we got two of them. Two of them right there. Oh, he turned. He moved. <laughs> As the classic, classic scarecrow saying goes. Oh, ouch. Sucks to be that guy. Ooh, that's a big boy. That's a real big boy. That thing's wide, man. That is wide for a small rack five. That's what I like to see. That guy's beautiful. That guy's really beautiful, actually. Was that a year ago, the super rare moose? Yeah, it was a year ago, because that's when we got the uh, great one moose. Was December of last year. That's crazy to think that that it has been a year. Oh, 263.54. Are you joking? Are you joking? I've never had that rack score this high. We're taxing that bad boy. Oh my gosh. 263.54 is insane. That's got to be the highest that this rack can score. I've never had one get even close to this. I think my previous best was like 261. For this particular rack, keep in mind I'm talking just for small rack. That thing's giant, man. This thing is giant. That's so cool. That is definitely the kill of the day. That thing is awesome. Got him. Is there any I'm missing? Oh, that's 1,400 kills, by the way. That was kill number 1,400. Kill of the day until your great one spawns. Please tell me it's going to spawn. It's got to spawn. What map is this? This is Tiaroa. Oh, nice, Elk Hunter. I'll check it out uh, if I get a chance to after the stream. And... Uh, yep. 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 I don't need my tents. Nah. I don't need them. Oh, uh, man. Calling it at 12 or 1424. 1424, I could see that happening. Let me look at what my previous fallow grinds were, all right? Let's see. Our previous fallow grinds, guys, have been 428 kills, 
395, 460, 349, 2,155. That was our first, like, long one. Then 456, 513, 379, 1,748, 2,161, and then 933. Yeah, I think that was, I think that's all of them. Because aren't we on grind, are we on grind number 12 right now? Wait, how many do I have? No, we're on grind number 11. Okay, so I have 933 wrote down, but that's for the current grind. Our last grind was 2161. Sheesh. That's insane. Yeah, I confused myself for a second there. Been a while since I've updated that uh that text document, so I didn't have it updated to the current kill count we're at on this grind. Uh that was from Tony, Rock Chalk. Tony sent you one. Of course, Thunderbolt, of course I do. What map do I want next? Every single one of them. All of them. But for real, I, I prefer Texas Game Ranch, but I also would not mind Asia or Africa too. Or even like a British Columbia map. Like all those would be cool. They could all be quite awesome. You think it's going to be a Fabled Painted? Hopefully. Fabled Painted would actually be pretty cool. I would prefer a Mocha, but I like the Painted. What do you mean by Africa 2? Like a second Africa map. Because we have Verhonga right now. So a second Africa map would be awesome. You think it's going to be the Irish Elk Rack? If it's Irish Elk Rack, I really hope it's Mocha because I've already got... I already have Irish Elk Rack on the Painted and the Hooded. And I feel like I would really like it to be a Mocha if it's going to be the uh, Irish Elk Rack. Can you get a great one for all the animals in the game? Not currently. Currently, it's only five different animals. Moose, fallow deer, white-tailed deer, red deer, and black bear. What great one would I want in the game next? Probably an elk. Elk would be quite cool. Who has the most great ones and how many? I believe I buy premiums has the most. I think he's at like 130 something or something crazy like that. I don't remember the exact number because it's been changing like pretty much every day. <laughs> he's been on a roll. Can I get an albino or mela great one? Yes, you can get albino and mela great ones, but only for the white tail. And honestly, we're not even sh we're not even like a hundred percent sure if they even exist because nobody's ever got a mela one. And there's only been one albino, so it very well could have just been a bug that was happening at the time or something. We know for a fact that fabled piebald is a thing, and so many people. Unfortunately, like, cheated to get the Fabled Piebalds back in the day, so it was really tough to tell. Actually, even now they do. But it was really tough to tell, like, how many of them were legitimate. We think there's about, like, ten, 
Maybe a little bit less than 10 legitimate fabled piebalds. But we've only ever seen one albino and zero mellas. So it's really tough to tell, like, what is what with those. Merry Christmas to you as well, Car King. Dude, what's up with this other herd? Why aren't you guys popping up into 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 existence in front of us? Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Nope, nope. Okay. I see how it is. Yeah, I see how it is. They're, they're going to be rude to me. Okay. I see you, bro. Nothing there either. In HM, are you supposed to stack or kill diamonds? Depends on what you want to do, really. It does, to be honest, it doesn't really matter too much. The only difference is if you stack, you'll get. If you stack them, you'll get uh, your map managed down quicker. If you don't stack, it's going to take a little bit longer to manage them down. How rare is the spirit brown bear? Uh, not super, super rare. They're considered to be an uncommon. You saw Mellow Crate when in multiplayer. Sounds about right, Toaster. That do be how that multiplayer be, you know. That do be how it is. Went to a map before and there was four Mellow Crate ones in the same spot. Oh my gosh. You hate to see it, man. Just so sad when you get into a multiplayer server and you see that type of stuff, like... Ugh, just terrible. Great one, Lion would be cool for sure, Happy Fox. Merry Christmas to you as well, Kevin. Is Dilute Mule Deer rare? Yes, it is a rare. It's about the equivalent rarity to getting like a piebald fallow deer. Or like a piebald whitetail. I'm currently playing on Tiabroa. Nice, two down. Back in my day, they used to be uncommon. Man, remember the days when Dilute Mule Deer were uncommon? And the game's gone through so many different changes in terms of like what's rare, what's uncommon, what is common. Like I remember for a while, a piebald mallard was like a really tough to find uncommon. Then it became like a normal uncommon. Now it's practically a common. They've gone through so many changes with, like, all the species. It's honestly pretty crazy. Any whistle on Xbox? No clue, man. I, I don't really play uh, any of the consoles for the Hunter. I am PC only for the Hunter.
What time do the pronghorn drink on SRP? What is it again? Is it like 18 to 21 or something like that? I think it's 18 to 21. I could be wrong. Somebody in chat can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I think that's right. Gosh, where are they? Where's the other herd, man? My deer are being weird. Please tell me it's a sign of a great one. My deer are being weird. The herds do not want to show up. Nice. Kill count, 1,410. So according to Jaxie Beard on the EW streams, Chaz, it apparently is bad, but like, I don't know. I get better results when I main menu, so I don't know. The thing is, for me, it's like species specific. With bears, I don't main menu very often at all. But Jaxie compared it to like exiting your game while it's saving. That's what he compared it to. He said that it's like the equivalent of exiting the game when it's saving, you know? But the thing is, like... The only reason that we even have to main menu is because they don't have it set up to where the respawns will come back to their zones right after they've respawned. They have it set up to where if the herd is still spooked off and nervous, they're not going to come back until they're not nervous anymore. That's the only reason we even need to do the uh, main menuing. It's like if the herd is still nervous, they don't come back to their zone until they're calm again. And it takes them really long time to calm down. That's the only reason that we even have to main menu in a lot of situations, right? Couple good fours there. Wonder how a great one mule deer would look? Oh dude, I bet it would be insane. I, I bet it would have so many like drop tines and stickers and stuff. I bet it would be so crazy. Like holy, that'd be so much fun to grind for like, oof. Please, great one mule deer EW. Great one elk or mule deer. And I'll be like infinitely happy for the rest of my life. Yeah, Ty, I would say that uh, just some basic tips for Call of the Wild is hunt near water because you're going to find a lot more animals when they're in their drink zones. Um, I would also recommend checking out like some of the beginner's guides and stuff on YouTube. I've got a full series around starting a brand new account and kind of like teaching everybody how to play from levels from level one clear up till I've taught like pretty much everything. Got a full series on that. Flinter's got some good beginner guides as well. I would check out a lot of that because there's going to be a lot more like information packed into those than what I could tell you right now. Ooh, do it, Caitlin. Do it. I bet that thing looks insane. Uh, you missed a really big small rack diamond, Weston. It's the first one I've ever seen score 264. Or was it 263? I think it was 263, actually. But it was still massive. And then we also got a level 4 piebald. So it's been a solid day. Is that a Mela? Nope. Not a Mela. Chocolate fallow deer. It's a chocolate fallow deer. No, they don't really do it that way, Carter. They kind of base it off of, like, player feedback. They'll do great ones that people want to have in the game. They're, they're not going to worry about, like, 
Oh, this species is too close to this species. Nah, if the players want it, they'll do it. That's what I've seen in the recent years with EWs. They typically add whatever people consistently ask for a lot. I mean, we just got retrievers. A lot of people have been asking for retrievers for literally years. Uh, we got the moose and fallow great one, two of the most requested great ones ever. Red Deer was also a very highly requested great one after the, the first great one was added to the game. An Australia map was another massive request. Like, they, they base a lot of stuff around community feedback. Jamar Lands, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. I hope you're having a great Christmas day. Or Christmas Eve, Christmas day, depending on where you live. Christmas Eve here, but, you know. For some of you, you're in the future and it's Christmas day. Appreciate it regardless, man. Thank you so much. Little chocolate fallow again. I say they had a great one, Lion. That'd be awesome. See, this is another one that's super highly requested. Like, the chances of the next great one being, like, a lion, elk, or mule deer is pretty high. Those are the ones people are always asking about. So I would not be surprised if we get one of those. I feel like as long as it's a species that people really like, then I think a lot of people will be happy with whatever the next great one may be. As long as it's a species that a lot of people like. You know it's a jarring experience? You're just hunting, right? You're just having some fun. You look down at your phone, and you get a notification saying that Brobra has posted a short, and the title of the short is Sometimes You Just Gotta Plow. That's a jarring experience, man. I'm in the zone shooting fallow deer, and I see that. Come on, Brobra. Come on, man. <sighs> Jenna, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. What are my thoughts on a female great one? I think it'd be cool depending on the animal. Like if they did like a female whitetail great one, I probably wouldn't be too interested in that just because it's a doe. Like what could they do with it to make it special? However, if they did like a female Gemsbok great one or like a, a made it so the female black bears could give you a great one as well, like that would be pretty sick. I think that would work well. Or like a female gray fox great one. Yes, please. Like, those would actually be pretty sick, you know? I think they could look pr pretty cool. I think they could look pretty cool. It uh, depends on the, the context of it, Chernobyl dinosaur. It depends on the context. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Some of them I do, some of them I don't. Most of it, I just keep the original commentary. Unless I was, like, talking super off topic or just... Yeah, it kind of depends on the situation, really. Yo, what's up, Kevin? Hope you're doing good. How's it going, Junior? Great one, Turkey. That could be cool. That could be cool. Have they added the Desert Eagle to the game? No, they have not. Yeah, Oz, that would definitely be cool. Like, I think it could work quite well. Great one, Goose. See, now Brobra would be very happy about that. Brobra's been pushing for a great one, Goose, for years. And I mean, if they're going to do a type of waterfowl, a Goose would probably be a pretty fun one. They would definitely have to fix the waterfowl, though, because currently, if you don't kill the entire flock, you will not get respawns in that flock. Which, uh, honestly... Doesn't make sense if you ask me. So they would definitely have to tweak that a little bit.
Hey, Roddy, you missed a giant diamond uh, fallow deer. It was the small rack, but it scored like 263, which is huge for that rack. And then we got a level four piebald as well. We've been doing decent today. Journeys, thank you for the super chat as well. Looking to start a fallow grind on Tiabaroa. Do you have any tips? Uh, yes. If you're doing herd management, manage the solos first because they are the most annoying to deal with. Um, aside from that, just like... Try to make it so your primary grinding areas are with herds. Because like the herds, they're going to more consistently get their respawns back than the solo zones would because solos, they bounce all over. They're so tough to keep track of. So regardless of whether you're doing HM or not, solos are your worst enemy. If you're herd managing, manage the solo deer down as quick as you can to level twos and small threes. If you're not doing HM, I would prioritize just hunting the herds and not worrying too much about the solos. Uh, if you need any more tips on fallow deer, I do have a fallow guide in my herd management guides playlist. Uh, it's got a, a mini guide for HM and without HM as well. Like, I tried to cover it all in that video. Oh, yes, it's, oh my God. Jamar Lance, thank you for another super chat. Much appreciated. Can't focus on herd management. What should I do? Uh, are you talking about just like keeping your interest in it? Not getting yes, bored with it? Oh my God. If you're talking about just like not getting bored with it, trying to keep yourself interested. Um, I know this isn't everybody's thing, but maybe you could make like a... Like short videos and stuff documenting your grind because I found that even if you only have like a couple people interested in like watching your content, right? Like when I first started out doing the Hunter content, I only had a couple people watching everything I did. But just having a couple people there chatting with me and talking about it, like commenting on things, it really motivated me to do more knowing that there was a couple people out there that wanted to see it. Like, whether it's streaming or making videos, like, it can help a lot with keeping your interest because you know there's some people out there that want to see you succeed in your grind. The other thing is I try to set side goals. So, like, it, when I go out to hunt fallow deer, I'm not just looking for, like, a great one fallow deer, right? I'm also looking for, like, specific sizes of rares. I'm looking for super rares. I'm looking for wonky diamonds. I'm looking for all those, like, cool things you can get along the way. And last but not least, just don't get yourself too burnt out on one species. If you need to take a break and hunt something else, do it. Because the last thing you want to do is hunt something so much that you hate it. If you need to take a break from hunting fallow deer or something, you know, just uh, or hunting whitetail or anything like that, whatever you're herd managing, if you need a break from it, uh, you know, load up Rev on Tule Coast and just go shoot some birds for a little bit or something like that. Or maybe like play a different game for a couple hours. Just try not to, like, uh, overburden yourself with grinding. Because that uh, that can definitely make you just completely burn out and not want to play it anymore. Oh my gosh, they're all here. Both herds here at the same time. Honestly, that's not ideal. I like having just one here. That way I can reset the time and then get the second one here. So let's try this. How much does liking the stream help you monetary, monetary wise? So liking the stream doesn't give me any money at all. What liking the stream does and liking the videos does is it counts as interaction on your video. And interaction will help YouTube push the video out to more new viewers. Like if they see that a lot of people are liking it or commenting on it, YouTube takes that as people like this video. And so then, I'm definitely not gonna get just one of the herds here. Um, and then they use that to push it out to more new viewers. And if those people get the same type of response, like if they end up seeing a lot of people and like and commenting from that like new group of people they push it out to then they'll keep pushing it out to more new viewers that have never seen the channel before that's kind of how it helps and how it works
Boom, level five down. Yeah, no problem, Kevin. Always happy to, like, explain little things like that. Because a lot of people don't know how it works. And also, that kind of goes for, like, dislikes, too, believe it or not. Dislikes actually help a video out as much as a like or a comment. Which is why you see, like, videos blow up when people really hate them. Like, you see YouTubers that do, like, really, really dumb stuff that everybody hates and disagrees with, but you see them blowing up because of it. It's because YouTube counts all those dislikes as, like, interaction. And so then you get people that do, like, super controversial stuff, like, blowing up over it. Kind of the way it unfolded for, like, uh... I can't remember if it was, uh... Logan Paul or his brother, but like the whole like uh, the whole like forest video, the infamous forest video, all the people like, you know, disliking him and stuff that helps him more than it does like hurt him. It goes for anybody. Dislikes are the same as a like or a comment to YouTube. Where did this guy go? Did he run up here? We also still have a stand up there from when we hunted red deer like two years ago or however long it was. There he is. Right there. Battle aren't showing up. What can I do? What do you mean by not showing up? Respawns are not showing up or are you talking about like the entire herd isn't showing up? Like, uh, is it, is it just the respawns or is it the whole herd? There's a four there. Oh, oh gosh, hi. Ah, no, 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 too close, too close. Too close, bro. Ah, man. Missed the shot on him. Got one of them, though. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people have that type of theory for the Hunter Classic as well, Jeffrey. I remember, like, it was a, a pretty big discussion back in the day that, like, a lot of people swore that, like, if you stopped playing the Hunter Classic for a few months and then came back to it, that the game, like, greeted you with better trophies. Who knows if there's any weight to that argument, but it is an interesting, like, discussion. How long did it take me to get where I am now on YouTube? A little bit over three and a half years. A little bit over three and a half years of uploading every single day. Now, I had a, I had this YouTube channel way before then, but I didn't really upload on it. And when I did, it was just like random stuff that I did with friends or like just random stuff I wanted to upload. Um, so I don't really count any of the time before then. In terms of like how long it took to build up the channel, I just consider when I started posting consistent content on the hunter to where we are now and yeah it was like yeah it's been over three and a half years over three and a half years at this point probably like three years and eight months or something like that because we started in March of 2020 doing consistent call of the wild content Oh, yeah, that was crazy, Archie. That was a crazy trophy. I remember that one. That was wild. All the wild should add elephants. I agree with you. I do think that that would be really cool. They're just not respawning. Got you, Roddy. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. Maybe you're not shooting enough per run. Maybe, maybe they've gone to different zones. 
Or maybe they just, you know, haven't respawned yet. Because sometimes, like, if you don't shoot enough of them, it's almost like there's a delay in them respawning. It, it's such a tough thing to, like, give you advice on because if I, if I can't actually see the map myself, it's hard to judge what's wrong, you know? Like, I can typically figure out what's wrong with my deer just by hunting around on my map and, like, paying attention to, like, what's happening. But, like, it's tough to, like, know what's wrong with your map without actually getting to hunt around on it and figure that out. It's like there's so many possibilities as to what it could be. Thank you, Joker. Merry Christmas to you as well, man. Did you main menu for Fallow? I do personally because otherwise they don't get back to their zones for a while. What map is this? This is Tiawaroa. Boop. What is the average count when I've got my fallow great one? Most of my fallow great ones have popped sub 600 kills, like under 600. But I've also had, I think, four of them that were above 1400, like between 1400 and 2200. So it's it's kind of been all over the place for me. I had a lot of really quick grinds early, and then recently I've had a lot of longer ones. Boom! What is my favorite great one? The moose. The moose is my favorite. He'll count 1,439. Your one phallogram was 11k kills. Ouch, man. That sucks. That's a painfully long grind. I didn't want to place a waypoint. I wanted to fast travel. Oh, yeah, Caitlin. You know, I've done something similar before. Like, I wasn't discovering, like, problems with people's grinds, but I did one stream probably a year and a half ago, maybe two years at this point, maybe a little bit less even. I don't even know. I'm, I'm just going to say, like, a year and a half. Actually, no. Ah! Yes! Yes! Holy crap! There we go! Let's go! There's, there's our great one. 1,439 kills. Fabled Painted Blade Rack, baby! Let's go! That's definitely a top five combo. That's definitely a top five combo there. Oh my gosh, let's go. 1,439 kills for this one. Holy. There's our great one, guys. There's our great one. He's beautiful too. This is like definitely top five. I was hoping for Mocha or a typical rack, but Blade Rack is my favorite rack in the game. And Painted is a top three fur for me, so this is definitely a great combo. Holy. Wow, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta clip that. And then, uh, let's go ahead and notify the Discord. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go. That is awesome. Holy, man. Gosh, I can't even type. There we go. Holy. What do we take this guy out with? Or what do you guys think? Should we stack it or should we kill it? I'm, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Actually, no. No, I'm going to kill it. We're going to kill it. We'll, I'll leave it up to you guys what gun we use. I don't want to use a bow because I've already used the bow on a lot of my recent great ones for Whitetail as well as one of our bears. 
And we took a couple of fallow with the bow as well. Let's see. Yo, Mustard with the 33 months, dude. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the 33 months, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I'll put Glock on the pole. I haven't used the Glock in a while. Seen a lot of 6.5, too. Okay, so here's the options. A little bit of a different layout of options than I than we've done in a while. Got a lot of guns we haven't used in a bit on there. Gosh, he's so pretty. That is such a pretty, pretty, pretty fallow deer. Holy crap. I love that. I absolutely love that. Let's set the time back further. Ooh, I need to back up my save game. Let's back up our save file. Last thing that we need is a crash to happen after we shoot him and lose him. How many kills since the last one? 1,439. This was a decently long grind. Like, it's not considered, like, long. This is, like, a slightly above average grind length for me. All right, save is backed up. Oh, yeah, it looks like the Glock is uh, way up there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it looks like you guys want to see the Glock. Now, we've killed a fallow with the Glock before, but it's been a long time. Sheesh. Insane. Ooh, wait a second. What's this Glock going to look like? Hold up. Hold up. What's this Glock going to look like with the, with the champagne metal? Oh. oh my gosh, yes. I wish I could put that there, but I can't. That's pretty. That looks so good. Let's do that. I think I already have it equipped. Yeah, 10 millimeters right there. Yeesh. All right, we're going to have to reset the time again. Get him in there. Hip fire. I don't think I'm going to hip fire with this one. This is a really good looking great one. I don't know if I want to risk it, you know? Like, I really like the way this one looks. Well, this is a good Christmas gift. That's what I'm saying, man. Maybe I got to go to 12. Seems like this uh, herd doesn't get here consistently unless I'm between 12 and 13. Oh, wait, there they are. He just popped. Okay, there we go. Now they're back in render. All right, let's get the site for this because I, I just realized I didn't grab the site. There we go. The Devani. Marksman Devani reflex site. Oh, that is such a good looking Glock. Woo. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. I was going to say, maybe he's not actually real. Gosh, could you imagine if, like, I kept resetting the time and he just didn't show up ever again? That'd be so sad. That'd be so sad, man. We got to get far enough away that the wind does not spook him. Yeah, Samani, you did get back just in time.
And you know what's funny? I was about to end the stream on this run. I was going to finish this run and then end the stream and get ready for the second channel stream. But then this guy pops, so now, uh, now the stream continues on. <laughs> that is hilarious. Saved by the Great One. That's such a good looking Great One Fallow. I'm happy we got another Blade Rack. And it's of course the Fabled Painted, my second favorite fur type in the entire game. For Fallow Deer Great One at least. So pretty. Love those Painted Blade Racks. I'm happy it's not a repeat combo. I'm happy it's a new one. Yeah, probably, Gavin. Probably. How many kills? 1,439. It looks so good, Blue. It is really, really nice. What's the other channel name? Scarecrow Uncut. There's a command for it if one of the moderators or members could drop it in the chat. We're going to be streaming over there. Likely it's going to be something like Fortnite, Marauders, or Tarkov Arena. We might potentially be joined by Tony if he gets done with all of his stuff for the day. Am I going to hit it in the heart? I mean, if we can, we will. What gun am I using? I'm going to be using the Glock. We got the 10 millimeter Glock ready to go. Imagine I just take the shot right there. Whiff it completely. <laughs> what gun am I using? I will be using the Devani 10 millimeter, AKA the Glock. That is so pretty. I love how at first this guy kind of looks like a normal fallow deer until you see the big blotches on the side like so cool. Goodbye. Goodbye little guys. Did I take a 75 meter shot guys? I don't know. Should I? Should I go broke or not go broke? Go big or go home? Go for broke. That's the phrase I was looking for. Go for broke. Yeah, 75. Okay. I can dig it. We should be able to get that at 75. Like the reflex is pretty nice. How much time I took to find it? 1,439 kills kind of over the course of the last month and a half. We haven't been grinding battle like super, super hard. It's just been kind of off and on. Actually, just in general, I haven't been grinding as hardcore as I used to. Because we haven't had a great one, like a new great one added to, added to the game in a while. Yeah, Ender, we got a great one, and it is beautiful, man. This thing is gorgeous. This is probably one of my favorite Great One Fallow we've ever killed. Or ever got to spawn, because we haven't killed it yet. I think the only ones I like better is my Mocha Blade Rack and the Typical Painted. I think those are the only two that I've got that I like better than this guy. This guy's beautiful. Here we go. Let's verify the distance. 70. Okay, it is 70. Good enough. 70 is good enough for me. Oh, not the 300 Magnum. Don't use that one, Crow. We got him. Ooh. 
We got him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's always a rush taking those risky shots like that, man. Jeez. We got him. Wow, he's pretty. Oh my gosh. That's so cool looking. Two fifty three fifty three. Fabled painted blade rack fallow deer. That's a sick great one. I like that a lot. That thing is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. And I love that with the painted, like it's got opposite legs, like it's a white leg here and a black leg there, and in the back it's white on the other side, black on that side. Got the splotches all the way throughout its body. And of course the chonk of the Great One Fallow. He's just a chonky feller. That's a cool looking Great One. There we go, guys. Great One, 63 on the counter. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Can't get over the hamster faces. They do got that hamster face. Look at that face. They got the floof in the chunk. Honestly, it looks like a squirrel. Look at that. It looks like he's a little squirrel with uh with some acorns in his cheeks. Got that little puff there. <laughs> so that was the shot. Honestly, that shot was pretty good. We hit it dead center of the lung. That's about as good as it can get, really. Why is it like... Look at that. It's going smooth and it just flicks. Is my mouse dying? I might be low battery on my mouse. Yeah, I think I'm low battery on my mouse. Let me plug my mouse in. There we go. Oh, it's still doing it. Guess the harvest screen's just being weird. Yeah, because the mouse is smooth. Yeah, I think it's the harvest screen. That's awesome, though. Welcome to the Mi Wireless Mouse Club, for real. I love wireless mice because they're just so... so nice to use without that cord dragging on stuff. But, uh, yeah, it is unfortunate when they go low battery on you. That's so pretty. I just want to stare at this thing all day. I just want to look at him all day. This is amazing. How many kills? 1,439. It's nice. What's the mice? Yeah. Yes. What's the second channel? It's called Scarecrow Uncut. I'll be streaming on there in probably like an hour and a half. Did he move on his own? Hold up, am I trip? He's moving on his own. I don't like that. I don't like that. He moved on his own. What? Okay, this guy's possessed. We're getting off this screen. He's possessed. Confirmed. He's possessed. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's go take a look at him in the lodge, though. Appreciate it, Jamar. And also... Thank you for the super chat, Jamar. I missed it real quickly. Let me go up and see. Nice shot. Thank you, dude. Thank you. And thank you for the super chat once again. Very generous of you. It's always done that on console? Oh. So that's like a known thing? Okay. I was going to say, I've never had that happen before. At least not that I can think of. I suppose it could have happened before and I just didn't notice it. Where do we put this guy? Where do we even put him? Thinking. Eventually, I'm going to have to put this guy on a uh, multi-mount, but for now, he does look pretty good there. Looking nice, man. Everyone says that? Gotcha. I've just never noticed it before. I guess I just don't pay a close enough attention, usually. 
Well, anyway, guys, now that we've got that in the books, I'm going to go ahead and hop off the stream here. Probably within an hour, I'll be streaming on the second channel, so pay attention to that one if you guys want more content for the day. I also might be posting a couple of uh, Call of the Wild clips on the second channel, ones that are uh, not main channel appropriate. So stay tuned for those, possibly some Call of the Wild content on the second channel. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!